Hi, this is Lori with Pixels Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to replace a background that's wrinkled with a solid color. Now, the best thing to do is to totally avoid this to start with and make sure your backdrops aren't wrinkled, but if you're like me, you started off doing on location and things got wrinkled in the car on the way over there, or at a session once I had a, lo a studio location, um, sometimes things would uh, be wrinkled in the back and I wouldn't prepare them because I wouldn't realize I was going to need that color at the session until they brought the perfect outfit that perfectly matched that backdrop. So today I've got this purple backdrop that is wrinkled and I am going to uh, get the selection tool and you'll see it has a plus right now it's on add selection you can change it up here if you need to and we're going to add this area over here and you can see around the head it's missing some you can either select it up here or easier hold down the alt key you'll see a negative sign in the middle of the circle select the area now the hair is the hard part but don't worry about that we'll get that better in a moment everywhere else is pretty good and we can zoom in and kind of get close to there and then once we're at this point go to select refine edge or just hold an alt control and r and it'll pop up this menu over here and you'll see that we've got a whole bunch of red on the screen. This red is where our original subject will show through. The parts that are not red are the parts that are going to pop up on a new layer with a layer mask. So it's going to duplicate this layer and make a layer mask so that only this part that's not red shows. Now what we can do is use our brush tool that's already selected and just paint on the areas where we want a better selection. So where this hair is it's going to refine this and it's going to find all those little bitty crevices and make it look much nicer. Now just a tip, this is not something I would suggest doing with a different color backdrop but it works out very well when you have a backdrop of the same color that you're just wanting to uh, fix up a bit. So we've got our selection, it looks much nicer now and we'll just hit OK you need to pick the color that you want to use for the background. You can select the paintbrush and then if you hold in the Alt key you'll get the little dropper and you can pick some of these colors. I like to select colors that are around the subject because it makes the blending much nicer. And then let go of the Alt key. Use a nice big brush and just simply paint it on. Now it looks really funny right now of course but all you have to do is click the little box next to the original layer and voila! Now sometimes our little selection finding thing doesn't find it quite right. In that case, select on the mask. Use whatever size paintbrush you need and you can paint the original image back on or off. Now in this case I think this looks really good and so I don't really see any areas that I need to touch up. Except for maybe over here actually now. It's the wrong way. You can hit X and that'll switch between the black and the white for your masking. It's a really quick way to switch back and forth. Tidy that little edge up right there. And if you want to see the before and after, you just click right here. There's a wrinkled backdrop. There's a nice pretty purple backdrop. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.